Hi, it's John. I'm at Abbotsbury Trop Subtropical Gardens um, in Dorset, near the Jurassic Coast. And I've just got a few minutes, and I've been thinking about a world without money. It would be dependent quite a lot on barter. And of course barter means you've got to stay friends with people. Um, you've not got to upset them, so you don't need to demand too much. Um, at least not make unreasonable, unreasonable demands on other people. And you have got also to have a, a, um, a skill or a gift or a product to barter with so you you have actually got to develop some sort of skill within oneself to uh, that other people are going to want you know even if it's something just like friendship or babysitting you know it doesn't have to be a very big skill um, so a world without money in my opinion would be one where you have a lot closer personal relationships Unless, of course, um, you are reliant on sort of pillage and war to obtain your um, <clears throat> the things that you need to live by, you know, thieving and pillaging and and um, just generally sort of being an unpleasant person. So there are two sides to the coin, of course. But what money enables people to do is to distance themselves from others. Um, you, you you buy products, you buy services, and you keep that professional distance from the person you're buying stuff from. Um, so you don't have to even know know anything about them or whether they're a person you like or anything. Because, you know, the, the only thing that's important is the money. And, of course, money is a human invention and possibly one of the greatest human inventions because it enables um, freedom from uh, from intimacy and freedom from location you know if you've got a lot of money you don't have to stay where you're you're known you know because people who, who, around you give you favors you, you could go anywhere and, and the money is still of value wherever you go um, and it enables people to uh, s set themselves aside, you know, um, go away and have deep thoughts about how to create something like a supercomputer or an atomic bomb or, or um, a wind farm or whatever it is that, uh, you know, you want, you need to um, get away to actually have time to, to think. So um, you know the money, the money supplies your material needs, and it frees a person to to think. So uh, uh, you know, money is both good and bad. Um, and a lot of people they have to run in the two the two molds. You have to sort of still work in a sort of barter relationship, but um, still be uh, dependent upon money. Right, bye for now.